you probably clicked on this video because you're wondering if this lure right here will catch fish. Maybe you want to make a purchase or maybe you just came to the channel because you want to see some dope b-rolls. Either way, let's get it rolling. Let's go. Size of a D. Jig head, couple swim baits, mega bass, spark shads. You need a slow gear ratio reel so you can slow roll these little swimmers. Here is what I have the mega bass spark shads, which you can get at Cabela's or Bass Pro, either one. They sell them at a pretty good price. We have a Bullet Z by Z Man, it's weedless. When you're rigging it for these kind of small rigs, it is middle of March. We are doing some finesse fishing because we just got done with like a huge rainstorm past few weeks. Seems like the bass are starting to move in to the shallows. I'm going to teach you how to use this bait to catch fish. If you guys want to have some fun catching some fish, you need to go with the light setup like I have right here. The key to fishing this bait is to slow the retrieve down. You can do that by getting a really good gear ratio for it. This is the Carbon X 1000. I use this reel for my finesse fishing when I'm fishing for trout, bass, panfish. You can even catch big ones with it. Drop shot, uh, little swim baits like these, like I'm showing you today in this video. Really light line, it is the Seeger Abrazex six pound line. Now, if you wanna have some fun catching some fish, get you a light setup like this. It is fun. You know, you get those times where you wanna just manhandle the fish, yeah, get it in here with a bait caster. Yeah, son. Try this out, guys. It is a lot of fun. The first thing I like to do is keep my bait in the strike zone. By doing that, you get that fish actively following it. They don't have to travel far. They're in the same depth. So casting out about four or five feet out from the bank and trying to keep it out there like this, right at that spot would be good. We're going to hit them, hit them hard. Just reel the bait slow. And if you think you're going slow, go a little bit slower. That's how you get a strike. Cast over on that side too. Change positions. Let it drop a little bit. Reel the bait slow. Get out there, do some fishing. See what you guys can catch. Send me some photos on my Instagram, Dapper Bass TV. And hey, I'll repost you guys. We got one, we got a good one. Dude, he choked it. We're gonna have to step over here. Get him in here. There we go. And he just popped right off too. Look at that. Guys, check this out. What an amazing catch. Two casts in, and I already caught this bass on it. This is what I caught him on. Mega Bass Spark Shads. You can get these at Bass Pro Cabela's. And I put a Z-Man jig head. It's really good for that weedless action, bounce it off stuff. And there you have it. You get one of these. Let's see if we can catch some more, just like this one. It'll be a good day if we got a good start like this. There she goes. saw a bluegill, threw it in there, and I catch a bass. It's not a big one. Fish is a fish, right? On the mega bass, spark shads. I knew there'd be a fish. Let's do a little experiment with this. I'm gonna use this dipping Glow Garlic Spike It marker. We're gonna draw a little line 
on both sides of this bait. We're gonna turn this Tennessee Shad into a sexy shad, just like that. It's supposed to give it some garlic scent and chartreuse. A sexy shad, indeed. Let's see what we can catch. Maybe we'll get more bites on it, maybe not. I will be sure to share my experience. Got him, we're on. He did come out of nowhere. He must have liked that chartreuse dye there. Like we painted it decent little fish. It's not what we're looking for, but a fish is a fish. We're gonna still try our best to get a new PB here. Let's go. Here's a rocky point where the sewage is. We got him. We're on again, just like that. Finesse fishing at its finest. This bait is holding up pretty well for a mega bass lure. Another little dink, pretty excited. I haven't caught this much fish in one day in a while. We're gonna continue with the mega bass sexy shad color here until we lose it, I guess. Let's go. Even though we're catching dinks, guys, we are catching fish. Another one on the finesse setup. If they would grow about three more pounds, we'd be in business. After all the fish we've caught today, this lure has held up tremendously. I'm still using the same first plastic I've been using throughout the morning. As you can see, we still got the painted chartreuse still holding on as well. This is the Bullet Z by Z-Man and the Mega Bass Spark Shads. You could get these at Bass Pro or Cabela's, whichever one you want, doesn't matter. Let me show you the setup that we were using all day. I only brought one setup with me, my bank fishing finesse setup. This is the St. Croix Avid X. It's one of the lightest rods I've felt. It's the 6.8 medium power, extra fast action. It's a graphite rod, great pairing up with the Carbon X. 1000 you guys have been dming me about a smaller size carbon x well here you have it it's out on the website go ahead and check it out in the links down below if you want to check it out it's a great reel for finesse fishing whether you're bass fishing pan fishing trout fishing this is a great great reel smooth as butter with that 11 ball bearings and it's also a 5.2 to 1 for that extra slow rolling reeling with this mega bass swim bait so hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me announce something really quick all right guys we are going to call it a day hope you guys enjoyed i'm going to show you this little video from pc fun and jason brannick they are doing a sweet giveaway all around trip to wisconsin to do some fishing with jason brannick check out this little short video and see how you can win it enjoy and we will see you on the next episode keep fishing forward Thank <laughs> you.